Hello, God bless you, and welcome to the Joyful Jazz Show. I'm your host, Dr. Alvin McKinney, also known as the Prime Minister of Joyful Jazz, and I'm here to let you know that we hit our MC radios. We love you, and so does Christ. And also, once again, today on boards, Brother Rock. God bless you, sir. It was an honor and a pleasure to work with you. But before we get started and have, bring up our special guest, a short word of prayer. Abba Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. Thank you, Father, for this show that will be a blessing to the hearers. And I pray that you will bless me as well as our special guest today, that mankind will be uplifted around the world. And we promise to give you all the honor and all the glory and all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua Mashiach, the Son of the living God's name, amen. Once again, in case you're just, uh, just tuning in, you're listening to the Joe for Jazz Show. And we're recording live from Los Angeles, California, from Roscoe's Media Center. And today our special guest is Christine Am Amare. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. If I didn't, she'll correct me on it soon. <laughs> and she has wonderful music, and also has, uh, her, her life partner is with her today, Mr. Dave Lons. Please correct me on the names. And uh, be before we get started, we're going to play one of their uh, projects. This song is called First Light, and it's a video. But the song is actually the first track from their CD, from her CD, excuse me, called Notes from a Journey. So once again, Christine Amati, First Light. Enjoy this video. It's beautiful.
Hey, are you tired of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With the ginger... Once again, you've been listening to the Joe for Jazz Show, and I'm your host, Dr. Alf McKinney. And that track was called First Light by our spe very special guest today, Miss Christine Amati. And before I bring her up, I want to share this uh, for the, all of the, new, the, the uh, new listeners who are actually following her. Um, on this show, the Joe for Jazz Show, we feature Christian artists, but also artists of all faces of light in every music genre. So I'm honored to have her here today to talk about her music. Uh, Miss Christine, are you there? I'm here. Hello. Wonderful. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank you, and welcome to the Joe Jazz Show. How are you doing today? Thank you. Pretty good. Wonderful. Is David there? He's here, too. Hey, Doctor. How are you doing tonight? All's well in yourself. Yeah, good, good. We've been uh, looking forward to chatting with you this evening. Likewise. We have a lot to talk about, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all about the sound of light and love and celebration, and you are, you know, you're speaking our language. Amen. We'll get, we're going to get into that, hopefully. But uh, I would like to talk to Miss Christine for a moment. Uh, Christine, please. Kristen, so sorry. It, uh, you know, it's actually Christine. You were right about it all the time. It's just the spelling is Norwegian, so uh -huh. it's missing an E at the end. But okay. it's just pronounced Christine, so you were right. And how do I pronounce yeah. your last name? It's Amari. 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 Okay, beautiful. Yes. Oh, <laughs> that, that name sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and, um, and, and Brother David, how do I pronounce your last name? You got it right, Alvin. It's, uh, it's Lons. Lons. So, very good. Very good. Yeah, you hit it right on the head. A lot of people say Lans, but... I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, you did good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Christine, uh, please, uh, to my understanding, you were born in, in Norway. Please tell us a little, a little bit about Norway and, uh, and how it affects your music, please. Yeah, I was born in Norway, um, and uh, my parents are still there. My brother is there, so most of my family. Mm hmm you know, I uh, there and I go visit at least once a year and um but it was a little too cold for me. So <laughs> I left when I was <laughs> I left when I was seventeen and um I moved south. Yes. I lived in the Mediterranean for a few years and then uh, you know, other places, London and from there to India and Thailand and and then I ended up here eventually, a few years back. I wanna talk about the places that you've lived, according to what I've seen so far, uh, Cyprus, New Delhi, Malta, and uh, possibly Shamla, I believe, or at least one of the songs was called The Winter of Shamla, which I loved also. Yes. I want you to tell me a little bit about each one of those places and, and, and how, how did you cultivate that culture into your music, please? Um, well, I was pretty young when I first moved to Cyprus and then later to Malta. They're both uh, Mediterranean islands, and I love them dearly. They're, they're really in my heart. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite places to live. And I was very young, so you know when you're young, you, you, you um, absorb easily cultures and music. And, and I did, and I, I fell in love with the music, and I got used to hearing more Middle Eastern rhythms as well when I lived in Cyprus. Mm -hmm. And that's something you can hear in my music on my album as well, particularly in um, in prayers. Yes. And um, then later on, I was in my late twenties, and I moved to India, and I lived there for um, ten, more than ten years, and um, it also very much influenced me. And <laughs> that's also why I have another track on my record called Winter in Shimla. Shimla is in fact North India. It's um, yes. the mountain region, and it has snow, and it's cold in the winter. It's it's um, it's beautiful, yeah. and um, yeah. So I was influenced again by the music, and I wanted to to incorporate that into my album, which is um, about my my life journey and <laughs> notes from my journey. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, what was the other country again? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you, one you, more on the list. You, you get around. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you were in Cyprus. You were in New Delhi, uh, Malta, Shamla, um, also London. Ben London, excuse me, Bangkok, and France. Yes, yeah, and then I was in London. I studied in London for um, a year. I, well, I lived there for two years. And, um, well, London is a, just, it's a big city. Um, I, um, I really enjoyed staying there. I stayed there um, two times, 
two separate years, one without children and the second one with children. I must say I far preferred it without children. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a, it's a fun place, but um, I didn't incorporate any of that in, into my music. Um, I guess it's maybe too international in, in many ways. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'd like to weigh in on it just briefly. I listened to your entire CD, and I loved everything about it. The quality of, and richness of your voice, your control. I love the orchestration, being classically trained myself, and also uh, doing, uh, dabbling myself a little bit in, in orchestration. So uh, 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 I'd like to get a, a shout out and kudos, kudos to Mr. Uh, Alex Salzman. Is that correct? Yes, Alex Salzman. He's amazing. He he believed in me before anybody else believed in me. He took my first tracks and he said, "Yeah, we can do something about this." And he developed, um, you know, my musical ideas into what you what you hear in my album, and he's, uh, he's amazing. And both David and I um, have worked a little bit with him um, this year, and we're, you know, we're planning to release more music, so he's already part of that, mm -hmm. yeah. And Brother David, if I may just add briefly, I went and checked you out a little, a little bit further and, and found some of your videos. I love your touch, sir. <laughs> Uh, Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, we're going to get into some deeper things later, but I, I appreciate all that you've done. I think you've done about 41 albums. Is that correct? Yeah, I kind of lost track, Alvin. To tell you the truth, <laughs> you have you have uh, you are a a legend in the music industry. I thank God for you, and uh, this is just a wonderful match. And uh, uh, I think in Hollywood, in Hollywood, we would probably call you a power couple. <laughs> yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> well, listen, Christine, if I may, I would love to play now prayer. Would you care to share anything in particular about that? Well, prayer, um, prayer is special because um, it just came to me. I was sitting by the piano, and I knew I wanted to create more music, and I just kind of just I just totally relaxed and I just let it come to me. And this and this melody came, and I I felt that I had to give it lyrics. That were that had a deep spiritual meaning to me, mm -hmm. and um, the place where I would look would, to me, be the Bible and the Old Testament. And I found the lyrics in um, the Psalms. And don't ask me which one because I don't remember which one right now. <laughs> you must have but, read my mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's okay. <laughs> but but um, well, the lyrics are very sad. They're prayers. Mm -hmm. um, and I decided not to go with the English version. I wanted, um, I wanted to do something that was more, you know, um, closer to the root and to the very beginning. So I chose Greek, which was the first translation of them. And, and it was easier for me because I lived in Cyprus and the language there is Greek, so I, I used to speak Greek fluently. So it wasn't that hard for me to adapt the lyrics um, into my melody. And I haven't actually changed them either. So when I say adapt, it's mm -hmm. not I. I didn't I didn't touch them much. <laughs> Just put them <laughs> together with the melody. Yeah. Well, wonderful. We're not going to play your video of the prayer, and also for the CD, it's called. This is actually track three, uh, from her CD, Notes from a Journey. Once again, Christine Amati, the prayer. Excuse me, prayers.
Once again, that was Christine Amadi singing prayer from a CD, Notes from a Journey. And uh, before I bring them back up, just a quick uh, a couple of announcements. And I hate to do this because it's, just, it's such a very special moment. Uh, but in, in, if you're, uh, if you're in, the, in the local Los Angeles area, uh, on November the 16th, I have the honor of performing with uh, Mr. Stephen B. Stewart in a very, very special event, which is going to be held at the Magdaleno's Restaurant. The address is 220 North Central in the city of Upland. The event is called uh, a Pre-Holiday Gospel Jazz Brunch and it's a benefit for the Love Olive Branches CDC Youth Scholarship Fundraiser. For more, for more information, please call 626-298-5624. Again, 626-298-5624 or please go to his website, Stephen. S T E P H E N, the letter B, steward, S T E W A R D dot com. Thank you so much. Once again, you're listening to the Joe Jazz Show, We're, and we are recording live from Los Angeles, California, from Roscoe's Media Center. And our special guest today are Christine Amadi and our life partner, Mr. David Lyons. Are you both there? Yes, we are. Hey. All right. I love that track. Um, I want to share this with you before we go more, maybe even a little further into it, just so you know. I had the honor of recording two songs for Dr. Joseph Nasrallah, who was actually born and raised in Egypt. He is now here in the Los oh. Angeles area, and uh, performing that Arabic-type music was a new experience for me, but I, I, I enjoyed it. And matter of fact, the song yeah. that I played on was called The Healer. <laughs> oh, so, so, right. Yeah, so I, I have a... It's pretty I, close. I, 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 I even have a closer connection now to that music. Uh, having heard that and, and gone through that experience. Yeah. Yeah, it's close to my heart, too. It's just when I heard it again now, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> I long for the desert. <laughs> <laughs> where, where did you record that, if I may ask? Um, I recorded all of um, the album in Alex Salzman's studio in New York. Okay. Yeah, so every every track. Um, well, actually, we have, like, David was participating, and he did, he recorded his part in in Washington. Mm -hmm. Washington D.C. 
No, on the West Coast. Oh, oh, the, the state of Washington, okay. Yeah, up there in the Northwest. All right, know, so. all right. Wonderful. That's where I'm originally from, yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a really cool track, isn't it? She really gets... That's what's interesting about that kind of music. It doesn't really follow the exactly the same kind of Western scale. And you're, she's singing almost like quarter tones, you know, which are the notes between the notes. Those are the notes that you would be able to hit on the sax when you're kind of bending the notes. <laughs> yeah, well, if I, if I, I can't read. get those on the piano. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, question, so, uh, if I may, uh, Mr. Dave, Brother David, if I may ask, what would be considered the standard scale for Arabic-type music? Well, you know, it's a good question. I, I think it's it would be based basically on a, um, I think, a harmonic minor scale, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Okay. And then um, somewhere, you know, in some of those intervals, there would be, like I said, like a quarter tone. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and it plays more like on the half tones and the quarter tones, so you get more of that... Um, you know, more of that kind of exotic, mystical kind of sound mm -hmm. that you don't get on a like a regular, you know, Western tuned instrument. All right. Now for the for all of the music majors, <laughs> I think the uh, <laughs> melodic minor scale is that, is that what you called it? That's that was just my best guess. Okay. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, yeah. ask me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I went to the pianist. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, you but, know, basically, I think you've got three minor scales, and I think that I I think that's the one that that. Okay. would come closest to that. All right. you know? so, so in other words, you have a raised seven, and then you have a flat six. Right, exactly. Uh, all right, I'm clear. All right. Now, uh, mm -hmm. Ms., Ms., Ms. Christine, would you please love, love to add to that scale? <laughs> I'm sorry? You, uh, she can sing it, but she can't <laughs> analyze it for you. <laughs> I can sing it, yeah. All That's right. what I do. You did, you, you did a lovely job. I'm, uh, uh, just right on the money. But even beyond the, 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 the execution, it's the passion, the <laughs> spirit, you. the soul, and the spirit behind it. Which really put, and you did a marvelous job on that. Appreciate that. Now, I had my heart in it. <laughs> yeah, I, I could tell, I and you laid it out there <laughs> with a beautiful heart. Yeah. Now, yeah. I, I want to get back to something. Uh, I want to share this with both of you. Normally, in my show, when I have Christians, especially, uh, I would always ask them to tell me about their relationship with God. But since um, Christine had, prefer to kind of keep it more private, I would like to ask this. And I found something that I think would really help the listeners, which is what the show is all about. Because I think that you're both healers, and I thank God for you in your own way. Uh, I'm going to read this, and then, Christine, please uh, feel free to expand however you like. Uh, this is from your bio, and it says, I've had some challenging times in life myself, and I know how important music was to me during those times and how music can function as a healer in many ways. Would you like to share something about that? Or um, yes, because it's, it's, I think the most important thing to me with my music is to reach people and, and make people feel, um, feel good, feel better, feel healed, mm -hmm. happier, safer. Mm -hmm. uh, because I've had, yes, I've had some challenging times. I guess we all have, you know, and I've had my fair share of it and, and I know that music um, really helped me through. And to me, it's interesting because I came, when I came over here, I was um, I had moments where I was fairly stressed, um, very stressed out, and, and very anxious. Mm -hmm. And that's how I found David's music, uh, actually. And uh, uh, before I met him in person, mm -hmm. and his music really helped me. I would put his music on in the car, and it would really. Um, calm me down and make me able to deal with, you know, regular daily activities, actually. Mm -hmm. So if my music can do the same thing um, for other people, mm -hmm. um, or at least evoke some sort of, of feeling of calmness or happiness or joy or whatever, then, then I reach my goal with my music. Wonderful. Um... I have a question for you. both. Either one can answer. How did you two? Where did exactly you two meet, and how did you meet? <laughs> She's smiling already. You want to answer that one, dude? Sure. <laughs> well, actually, to tell you the truth, I've um, I'm originally from the West Coast, mm -hmm. and on a regular basis over a number of years, I think at least over a decade, I was doing these workshops primarily for uh, pianists and uh, uh, composers, and and so. Christine, like she said, she had heard my music 
um, a number of times, and, and she she was really touched by it. So she she looked on the internet and she found out about these workshops. Mm -hmm. So she contacted me, I think on Facebook or something, and <laughs> told me that she yeah. was yeah. yeah. So yeah. she told me she was a vocalist and <laughs> not so much a you know she does play the piano, but it's she uses it strictly as a a composing tool. And I said, well, I think a, a, a vocalist would, would be wonderful. So she actually came to a number of these workshops over a period of a few years. And, uh, <laughs> and then you started coming course. to my workshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> over time, you know, we, we, we kind of bonded first with music. And you know, I, saw, I fell in love with her voice first. And then as time went on, we realized that we were uh, meant to be with each other. So it's, it's, it's been a beautiful very challenging but intense and but just an, an amazing experience to, to you know share my my life with Christine wonderful um, <laughs> I have a lot of things rolling <laughs> in my head right now but I'll tell you what I'd like to do this is one of my favorite tracks on your CD and I'd like to dedicate it to, to the both of you two uh, first of all but before I do that how long how, how long have you two known each other oh it'll be three three plus three years now okay yeah. like all that. right all right yeah I yeah. think you're gonna like this dedication and it's called Without You. This is track number six on, on your CD uh, from Notes from a Journey, but we're going to play the video. And uh, in my head, uh, I, I sense this as a, as a waltz type song, and I, and I just see you two dancing in your music room where the piano is, Brother David. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should know that this, you know, Christine. This track is special. Yes, yeah, she brought this song to the workshop when she was working on it, and I gave her a few suggestions on the bridge. and. And I had no idea at the time that the lyric, for the most part, was written for me. And I was the last one to oh. know. Right. So this is the piece that... Um, yes, it's a I love was, song that I wrote for David yeah. before oh, he, this is sweet. he didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> so I picked up on that. It's a good vibe here. Yeah. <laughs> so she actually sent this, this, you know, the tracks to me and, and my, my uh, engineer, producer friend, and I, you know, cut the piano tracks uh, in Washington and sent them back to her. And so this was our our first, uh, you know, actual collaboration. So uh, and I always thought it was a, a really pretty song, and then I was, you know, I was a little bit chagrined when I found out she had written this <laughs> for me. <laughs> oh, there you have it. Oh, that's a, what, well, this is perfect timing. Once again, this is yeah. called Without You by David Lons and Christine Amati. Check out this beautiful video.
Once again, that was Without You by David Limes and Christine Amati, who are our special guests today. Once again, you're listening to the Joppa Jazz Show, and we are, we are recording live from Los Angeles, California, from Roscoe's Media Center. By the way, if you'd love to speak to them or ask them a question, please feel free to call in anytime. The number is 323-965-1600. Again, 323-965-1600. One six zero zero. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. Christine and David, are you there? We are still right, here. Right here. Wonderful. Did you did you guys do do a little waltz dance in the, in the room while we were listening to the to your track? <laughs> you know we did. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Wonderful. Yeah. I have to tell you this that um, a couple of things. When I hear your music, what you all three of you I'm going to say all three of you. That means both you two plus uh, 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 Mr. Alex Salzman have put together very powerful team but I hear three artists I, I and I told Christina this earlier, the, uh, yesterday or the other day I hear qualities in her voice that remind me of Celine Dion but also I hear Andrew Patelli and, jo and Josh uh, Grogan I hope I pronounced his name correctly so I, I consider your music definitely in that caliber uh, you, the best of the best from the first note to the end, everything is just beautiful, excellent, very tastefully done. Thank you. <laughs> Ma masterful. This is a masterful piece, and I, and I wish you a lot of uh, well and much of success with this project. You know, it's so amazing. That's, you know, I mean, I've been recording for many, many years, mm -hmm. and this is Christine's first album. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Way to go, young lady. And it's the first... <laughs> And then she wrote all that, well, I mean, I, I'm not going to take credit for this. Mm -hmm. I just kind of helped kind of, I think I lit a, a lit the spark for her, but she hadn't really t seriously taken any kind of composing. Well, she hadn't taken any, any you know, didn't have any serious training and had never really uh, given it a whole lot of thought. And then after coming to my workshops and she saw the, how people were kind of lighting up, I was trying to demystify the process of improvisation mm -hmm. and you know, writing, just using, you know, simple, simple chord changes and, and things, nothing, you know, very heavy, but, mm -hmm. and she went off and she wrote this whole record, I mean, just in a few months and found Alex, his producer, and I couldn't believe it. It was unbelievable. I mean, because usually most artists, you know, they'll do a record and they'll do maybe two or three, you know, occasionally you see a band that gets lucky in their first record and it's a big hit, mm -hmm. but that's usually because they've been woodshedding for 10 years, oh, you know? Yes. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? So, so for Christine to kind of come out of the gate like this, it's like, wow. That is, so she, so <laughs> that is I miraculous. I was rife and ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've always, you know, created um, melodies in my head since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. And I always created things, and I wanted to have them play it on Broadway, and I was kind of starring in my own musicals in my <laughs> little bedroom in Norway. So, you know, I was way overdue, I suppose. <laughs> I, I guess we would say in, 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 in the, in the uh, Christian vernacular, the prophecies have come true. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Each, in, each, each and every one of these tracks could be a, a movie soundtrack, and should be if they're not already. 
Yeah, I think so. She really has kind of that uh, Broadway, I mean, especially when, you know, working with Alex, he's a really great guy, and, and as you can hear, he's, you know, he's really great with, with doing the orchestrations. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and her music really does uh, kind of open off into that kind of imagistic place in your mind, you know, so when you hear the music, it almost feels like you're, you are listening to a soundtrack. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, question. Tell me a little, a little bit about Alex. Oh, one second. Do we have a caller coming in? Oh, wonderful. We have a caller coming in. And who, who's on the call? Hold on, I one, one second. He's going to put him on. And, uh, Hello? New caller? Really yes. Who's calling in? Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. God bless you. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. How are you doing today? Wonderful. One, one second. Uh-oh. Oh, we lost... <laughs> I can hear you. Well, well, can you hang up for one second? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Sure. Okay. Well, well, first of all, where are you calling from? It's, this is your wife. <laughs> this is my wife. <laughs> Elizabeth? Yeah, I, guess, I guess you have more than one call coming in at the same time. Oh, hey, dear. How you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm doing fine. Uh, no, 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 okay. Uh, hang on a second. We lost um, our special guest in, in the process of, of, of hooking you on. I, I'm here. I guess I should. I guess I should hang up. No, no, hang on. Hold on, tell me. Okay, they're calling back now. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, that was my wife calling in. She, I think she wanted to ask you a question, but now we lost her. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, she'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Sorry about that, uh, dear, uh, to my sweetheart as well. Anyway. Um, Going back to Alex Salzman now, uh, this is a wonderful chemistry that I was sharing with you earlier. Uh, your writing skills, your voice, Christine, your expertise, knowledge, and vision also added to this pot, as my dad would call it. <laughs> and, and then Alex. This is a, this, uh, 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 Phil Jackson, this would, be, this would be Phil Jackson's triangle. <laughs> This is yeah. a very special, unique group of people that, that have been. That have been um, now, question: Did Alex? I know that he did the orchestration, but uh, did he actually use uh, a notation software, or actually a lot of musicians here? Um, no, he didn't use any notation software, as far as I know. He did. You know, I sat down with him and I gave him um, my um, my melodies, okay, which were in simple shape. It was basically piano and my voice. Mm-hmm. And then um, he took them and, and he basically, I, I, I call it dressed them. He arranged, he arranged my music and he came in with his suggestions and, and he did the entire orchestration. He brought in some really good um, musicians to play on a few of the tracks. And, um, and um, yeah, he was a blessing. He's a blessing <laughs> to me. Yeah. I, I, I love the, uh, the string work. Uh, what was it, Joe, yeah. Joe, what was his name? Last name? Yeah, Joe Denenson. He did a fabulous job on prayers. Yes, and and the oboist. I don't know that person's name, but to give him my my my, my condolences. Um, excuse me, my, my kudos. Excuse <laughs> me. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a lot going over here. We're trying to work out. We got some some technical things over here, but uh, you know what I like to do? I'd love to play another one of your tracks. But before we do that, we're going to have a short commercial break, and then we're going to be right back. Is that okay? Absolutely. Once again, this is uh, our sponsor, Pitbull Energy Drinks. Hey, are you tired of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products. For more information on Pitbull energy drinks, bars, and mixes, visit their website at hiphopbev.com. That's hiphopbev.com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com. All right, we're back now. Once again, you're listening to the, to the Joyful Jazz Show. I'm your host, Dr. Alvin McKinney, also known as the Prime Minister of Joyful Jazz. 
And today, and today our special guests are Christine Amati and David Lons, and they're calling in from New York. By the way, if you'd like to speak to them or ask them a question, we have maybe about 15 minutes or so left on the show, please call our studio directly, and uh, we'll put you on the line with them. That number is there, code 323-965-1600. Again, 323-965-1600. And the bugs have been worked out now, to my understanding. <laughs> Uh, Christine and David, are you there? Yes. All yeah. right, all right. So sorry about that. Uh, Don't worry. Before we play your next track, uh, I'd like to ask a little bit about, David, I'm going I'm to direct this one to you. Uh -huh. I was watching one of your videos last night, and it was about your Kickstarter. And we uh, oh, definitely got to get to that song as well. Um, First Christmas, I believe it is. And you mentioned about how the, uh, the, the music industry has changed so much regarding uh, money spending and preparation and, and, and all that. Would you care to share that with the audience, please? Yeah, I mean, I I was very fortunate and started uh, recording back in the in the early um, you know mid '80s, and for a couple of decades I I worked with a number of major labels. Mm -hmm. And what I've explained to you know people, they they always want to know what a label does, and um, you know they're all a little bit different. But basically, a recording contract is an interest-free loan. And I was fortunate. My my label uh, provided the uh, the money for the production of the music, for the mastering, uh, for the artwork, and they took care of the manufacturing of the of the uh, you know. But this was back when it was there were a lot of uh, it was vinyl and, and cassette tapes and, and then CDs of course. Um, and then and then once the mastering and the manufacturing is done, then the distribution, um, which. Uh, we're now we're in, in a whole new era. Back back in the 80s and 90s, we actually had chains, thousands and thousands of record stores. Mm -hmm. and they're gone, you know. Um, I mean, there's still there's, yes. there's still a, you know a few specialty shops, but Tower Records is pretty much gone. And mm -hmm. and there was Sam Goody, and there was you know all these different chains, Musicland. Yeah. So um, the labels have cut back, and they still deal with more of the really really young artists. But as far as you know, dealing with with you know all genres, um, that you know it just doesn't exist anymore. So crowdfunding really has kind of taken the place uh, of of what what labels ha had done in the past. That is, you know, providing the the funds necessary to produce, um, distribute, and promote. You know, the promotion again is another very expensive part of the process. Because without you know promotion at radio, you know or television or tour support and such, mm -hmm. uh, it's really tough for for artists to get it out there. You know, um, but we should we should mention we did we did actually we we kind of made part of the way through the Kickstarter program, but we we decided it was going to be best for us just to to suspend that campaign, mm -hmm. uh, which we just actually did today. <laughs> so okay. you didn't even know about that, no. but. Um, uh, and but, so we're still just encouraging folks to, um, you know, come to our websites where we, you know, we're offering our, our new record, which is called Forever Christmas. Yes. And uh, and then we've got a, a few ancillary items, you know, really cool greeting cards and posters and and um, things that, that uh, you know, kind of go along with, with the music. Um, and we're just uh, we're just funding ourselves the best we can, you know. I understand. At, at this at this point, so. All right. Well, uh, Christine, where can the, uh, uh, the listeners purchase your music? Um, oh, various places, of course, Amazon and iTunes mm -hmm. and CD Baby. But um, I sell my uh, CDs through my own website, and it's Which is? Fact, cheaper. It's uh, amariemusic.com. So it's A M A R I E music.com. And they can buy my um, album autograph directly from me, and I'll sign it, and I'll ship it out myself. And it's also available through David's website. And we will have the new record, Which Forever is? Christmas. Forever Christmas is a first Christmas album, our first full-length collaboration, and that will be available also through my website and uh, davidlons.com as well. Okay. That's, of course, Amazon and iTunes and, and the rest. Wonderful. I want to play another track. Uh, we have about maybe 12 minutes left and two songs to go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we're going to do the best that we can, all right? This yep. is uh, Beloved uh, and I'll Dream in Blue. 
from the CD Notes of a Journey from uh, by Christine Amati. This is the video. Hope that you enjoy it. Once again, that was called Beloved and I'll Dream in Blue. Uh, uh, Christine, my apologies. We wanted to face so I could get back to you and play another, another one of your videos, possibly uh, even an additional song. Uh, but I want to encourage everyone to, to pick up the entire CD. It's just phenomenal. Are you there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> that is good. Well, now, uh, tell me just briefly about the history of, of that song. Where did it come um, from? Yeah, that song um, was the one... Well, I did First Light, the first track on my album, and the first song you played today, it was the first song I, I created with Alec. Mm -hmm. And uh, it became um, pretty popular. It released it as a single, and I wanted to do something similar. So uh -huh. I sat down by, by the piano with the intention of 
creating something similar to First Light. So I wanted it to be wordless because I'm terrified of lyrics, <laughs> because I'm terrified <laughs> of forgetting them when I perform. Okay. So it was a lyricless song, and um, I happened to send it over to David, and uh, he thought that it needed lyrics. So, David. <laughs> yeah, I just thought the melody was too beautiful, and I, I just went, no. It's, you know, something, there's, there's a beautiful song inside here. Definitely. And so I sat and uh, spent a day or two and really just, you know, immersed myself in the music and created the lyric, and Christine and Alex loved it. So, I mean, I'm, most people know me as a, you know, as a composer, as a pianist, mm -hmm. but um, I do, I have spent many, many years as a singer-songwriter, too, but, you know, other than just being an instrumentalist. So I really appreciate, you know, the value of a nice lyric and... Um, so yeah, so I forced Christine and Alec to re-record the song. <laughs> they actually changed the key, and Alex, you know, did a little different take on it. And uh, and I, I just love how it turned out. It's just, it's beautiful. So. All right, I have a special message before you. Look uh, for for Christine from my engineer, uh, brother Rock, and he told me to tell you that your first song reminds him of uh, of uh, Lord of the Rings. Is that correct? So I thought I wanted to share that with you. <laughs> Well, I would love to have uh, you know one of my tracks in one of a one of those big movies. It would be great. Amen. <laughs> I'll tell you what I would like to do now. Um, I want to play Forever Christmas. This is the trailer uh, from your your new CD project, and I, hope that, and I hope that they will enjoy it. Once again, this is called Forever Christmas. It's a, a Christmas trailer. This is a video by Christine Amari. <gasps> Beautiful. Once again, that was a trailer uh, for First Christmas by Christian Amari and also some, some lovely handiwork by Mr. Dave Lons and uh, also Mr. Uh, Alex Salzman. Are you, are, you, are you two still there? Yes. Yeah. All actually, right. I should, uh, let me point out that that album actually was produced myself and my brother. Okay. And it has a Gary? little different, yeah, Gary Lons. Okay. So um, 
uh, on the West Coast. <laughs> so oh, we're coast to coast. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, please give my kind regards to Brother Gary. I hope that by, uh, by God's grace, we'll have, we'll have a chance to uh, cross paths one day, maybe sit down and have yeah, some tea, you never, some tea yeah. or something, you know. Def, definitely. <laughs> you betcha. Listen, it's been an honor and a pleasure having you two, both, both of you, on my, on, on the Joe for Jazz show. And uh, I'd like to extend a, 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 a hearty welcome uh, for you to come back. And, uh, Brother David, I'd love to also interview you sometime. And, uh, if you Thank you, sir. I, pr- I appreciate that. We'll take you up on that maybe after after the holidays. Our schedule's pretty hectic right now. So. Yes, sir. When you get a chance, please send me a couple of your CDs, and I'll be go- I'll be honored to put uh, put them with your with, with Christine's on my uh, playlist as well. Great, 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 great. Thank, thank you, sir. And hey, all the best to you. And uh, and thank you for having me and my music on your show. It was my honor, my <laughs> pleasure. And by the way, my wife sends her, her kindest greeting. She didn't want to call back and interrupt the, the show anymore, <laughs> but she loves oh. your music. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Say you hi. So much. <laughs> Once again, everyone, that was Christine Amati and Mr. David Lons calling in from New York, promoting uh, Christine's CD projects, both Notes from a Journey, as well as uh, First Christmas. Sorry, Forever Christmas. Please pick up those CDs and check them out when you get a chance. One of beautiful, just beautiful music, vocals, orchestra, orchestration, even the videos on on the uh, on YouTube, phenomenal. Just, just first class production all the way through and through. Please pick up the, their music when you get a chance. And um, as a matter of fact, we're going to close out on track number five from her CD, A Note, Note from a Journey, and it's called Winter in Shamla. And for those that don't know, like myself, <laughs> Shamla is actually in India. So once again, it's been an honor and a pleasure. I hope that you enjoy, enjoy this CD. And as we go out, listen to winter, uh, track number five, Winter in Shamla. Just know that Christ loves you and so do we. And we look forward to seeing you next week.